Good morning, everybody. It's really lovely to be here. Thank you for asking me to be part of this event. I am Director of Academy Wales, and uh, for the next 10, 15 minutes, I'm just going to talk to you a bit about Academy, how we link to this agenda, why we're here today, why we're involved, um, <clears throat> and also, as, as Gary mentioned, the case studies are going to be uh, published on our website. So I can tell you a little bit more about where to find those in closing. They're not there just yet, um, but we'll be there very soon. So a little bit about um, Academy Wales for those of you who aren't familiar with us. Um, we are the Centre of Excellence for Leadership and Management for Public Services in Wales. And uh, just some of the notes I've just been scribbling, thinking about the real relevance of us being involved in this agenda, I think it's really twofold. So firstly, I think building that really strong leadership cadre across um, public services is what we need for, uh, for that sort of capability to shift that mindset, um, understand that new context that we're all operating in. So I think that's really, really crucial. Um, but also that side around uh, Academy's involvement in fostering collaboration across public services, um, co-production, innovation and continuous improvement. So this is all really, really relevant for us and we're really happy to, to support this, this important work. So we offer a huge range of interventions across um, a number of different areas. Um, and this is a really exciting year for us. Just a little plug before I uh, launch into some of the more relevant stuff. Um, we, were, we were created, I've only been with Academy for just about a year, but we were created in September 2012. So it's really exciting that we're just celebrating our 10 year anniversary. So little plug, please do watch out for social media, communications from us, some really exciting events over the next year to celebrate that milestone. We are part of Welsh Government. We're part of the Welsh Government Minister for Finance and Local Government's portfolio. And we offer leadership masterclasses, seminars, longer programmes for both existing and aspiring public sector leaders. We offer off-the-shelf and bespoke interventions for public service uh, boards to ensure high performance. And we also um, support aspiring board members to get there. We run programmes under the umbrella of talent and succession. So many of you will hopefully have heard of or possibly even attended our summer and winter schools, which people tend to be more familiar with. We run a thriving All Wales coaching network um, with an annual coaching conference. And again, in the interest of building that really strong pipeline of future leaders, we run a really popular and very successful All Wales graduate programme. But we also have a continuous improvement function, which is where the link to this work has come from. Um, and it's all about that, those sort of innovation, collaboration and co-production mes messages. It's loosely broken down into three strands. So we provide training um, on understanding and implementing continuous improvement tools, techniques and philosophies. Um, we provide ad hoc support to public sector organisations who are embarking on transformational change including things like efficiency savings, quality improvement, cost saving, that sort of thing. And then that third arm um, or strand revolves around networking and collaboration. So most of this is delivered via our All Wales Continuous Improvement Community, which I think is where the links were made with colleagues in the room. Um, and that includes our learn and share events and the dissemination of new um, and alternative approaches to continuous improvement. We work with a huge range of public and third sector organisations, including education, health, local government, police, fire service, uh, Whitehall departments, um, and also Welsh charities. So um, huge, huge sort of stakeholder base. And whilst my focus during this 10th year of, of our existence is on all the brilliant activity that's already gone, as you'd expect, I'm also um, looking ahead to the future. And whilst we're all living through these, all those words, extraordinary, unprecedented, complex uh, times, it's never been so crucial to ensure that our public services are led robustly and effectively. Um, as I say, we need our leaders to be able to understand some of these challenges that, that have been outlined this morning. Um, and make that paradigm shift happen in reality. There are huge opportunities to work across public services and to collaborate under the One Welsh Public Service banner, breaking down those silos and barriers between organisations and working across organisational boundaries to deliver for the future of Wales. Academy Wales strongly supports this pan-public sector approach through its interventions and through its values and behaviours framework, if you've not already seen it, which you can find on our website. And this links directly to the five ways of working under the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act. Um, but it also firmly aligns with the First Minister's concept of one Welsh public service. 
So as One Welsh Public Service, we've got a shared purpose and shared drivers to achieve a better and lasting quality of life for us all. It's about improving the economic, social and cultural well-being to help us create a Wales that we want to live in now and in the future. And it's a way of um, public servants thinking and behaving and developing that future where we can all work together with a joint purpose, vision and values. Um, we're also currently building a three-year strategy, so again, please watch this space, launching it in spring next year to enhance our links to these key strategic agendas and to further cohere our offer for Welsh leaders of the future. <coughs> so Academy Wales have been heavily involved in the circular economy agenda. I'm just going to tell you a little bit about some of the things we've been doing and the ways that we've supported, mainly as a contributor, facilitator and awareness raiser on this agenda. We are acutely aware and supportive of the benefits of um, implementing circular economy thinking into public services, helping reduce carbon footprints as part of the solution to the global climate emergency, and where products and services are designed to maximise their value and minimise waste. In lean thinking terms, doing things better with less. So we've worked in partnership with Welsh Government Circular Economy policy colleagues to jointly deliver circular economy awareness raising sessions through the All Wales Community continuous improvement community. I always get those muddled up. Um, we use these sessions to provide delegates with an introduction to the circular economy in a Welsh context, helping them understand how engagement, involvement, and the well-being of future generations act are all at the heart of the approach, and crucially, how we can all contribute and maximise our impact. In addition to this, over the past year, we've worked to promote awareness and importance of circular economy thinking within Wales through a series of learn and share events, led by internal and external stakeholders, including the Centre for Local Economic Strategies, <coughs> excuse me, who delivered a session on the people and community-centred approach to local economic development, better known as community wealth building, which, as I'm sure you will all know, is a people and community-centred approach to local economic development, redirecting wealth back into the local economy. <coughs> we also helped raise awareness of the Circular Economy Innovation Communities Project, bringing together public and third sector organisations across South Wales, <coughs> I'm so sorry, to create uh, collaborative innovation networks that work towards a more sustainable future. We, we help raise awareness of the Circular Economy Innovations Community Project, which helps bring public and third sector organisations together to create collaborative innovation networks. And common themes emerging from these sessions were just how relevant and important some of those um, generic continuous improvement messages remain the pursuit and elimination of waste, the cost of poor quality, a right first-time approach, and the value of viewing any function as an end-to-end -end process and ecosystem. Interestingly, our own involvement in this agenda stemmed from our ongoing horizon scan for themes, ideas, opportunities, and knowledge sharing that we can bring to our own All Wales Continuous Improvement community. <clears throat> we spotted lots of overlapping themes, including foundational economy, public sector procurement, circular economy, and a community-focused approach, which is what's brought us to, to this, this community. <clears throat> In these unprecedented times, as I've already said, strong, effective leadership has never been more important. I think, personally, we're really lucky in Wales to have those five ways of working around the, the Wellbeing of Future Generations Act, giving us that sound framework to try and navigate uh, the complex environment that we all find ourselves in. We've got to think about the long term, so safe balancing our short term needs with the need to think about the long term needs. Prevention, acting to prevent problems occurring or getting worse. Integration, considering how public bodies' wellbeing objectives might impact on the objectives of other public bodies. Importantly, collaboration, so we can make the best use of our resources and involvement, making sure we involve the right people and ensure diversity. <clears throat> As we celebrate 10 years of Academy Wales, innovation has been and will continue to be a constant in everything that we do. Our relationship with the Wales Innovation Network and the circular economy innovation communities are great examples of how we value and foster the benefits of collaboration. In recent months at Academy Wales, we've been thinking about and revisiting um, how we all perceive and approach collaboration. We believe we might be missing a bit of a trick. Um, to a greater or lesser extent, collaboration has been seen as a bit of a nice-to-have, just a sort of general part of the day job. We're trying to take a different view and approach to help fulfil untapped potential in this area 
by moving away from that sort of passive um, wait to be asked approach towards that more uh, proactive, systematic, let's make it happen. Maybe we all need to be measured by the extent and effectiveness of how we collaborate with our colleagues, organisations and wider stakeholders. Another important area that we are currently working on is around landscape mapping. So again, aligning with everything we've been saying today, I think it's so important to take stock of the brilliant organisations and activities we've already got happening across Wales before leaping in to create um, a new organisation or network or whatever it might be. Um, from the leadership and innovation space, there are so many brilliant organisations I've come across in my short 11 months in this, in this area. Um, imagine what we could do if we all truly collaborated and co-produced really exciting things together. Um, stripping out that duplication, stripping out those overlaps and really making sure that our offers are complementary to each other. So finally, as I mentioned, as part of our ongoing commitment of promoting the values of circular economy thinking and supporting the work of the Wales Innovation Network, we're really pleased to be publishing today's case studies to enable greater awareness raising of the impressive examples you'll have the opportunity to see later on this morning, or yeah, this afternoon, morning. <laughs> Um, and you'll be able to access the studies via the learning resources um, section of the Academy Wells website. So I'm sure we can get a link out to you once they are there. Um, hopefully early next week um, is what we're aiming for. So we're really, really pleased to be able to host um, that important information in an open source format. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you ever so much. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.